the nicest cemetery worker I've ever met. Just help me find a grave right now. I don't want to say her name or what cemetery she works at because I don't want to get her in trouble because when they see the video and all that. But uh, shout out to Kathy. I said her name anyways. Ah, Kathy, if you're out there, um, just a very, very wonderful lady. But that doesn't get away from the fact that I'm fucking pissed. So my trailer is being worked on down in South southern Oklahoma. So there was an interview that I've been wanting to do for three months, right? So the in, the interview takes place in Indiana. The interview is for my main channel. And I'm not going to say this person's name. I'm not going to say what they did. I'm not going to even say what the interview was going to be about. But it was going to be a phenomenal, like really interesting, cool interview. I drove 800 fucking miles to do the interview, right? Because I don't do any interviews, no Zoom, everything's in person, right? So I was going to end the interview at the house where the person that we were discussing used to live. So I get to the city and I fucked up, right? I blame only myself because I called them on the phone and I said, hey, uh, are we still on for the interview? And they were like, you still want to do the interview? Like, and like that pissed me the fuck off. But I, I had to bite my lip, right? Because when I called them, I was in Tulsa. I wasn't going to come up this far, but I said, fuck it. I really want to do that interview. So I drove all the way to said location. And then when I, I said, I told them when I met up with them, I said, are you sure you still want to do the interview? And you could tell that they were a little bit apprehensive. And I said, I'm going to disguise your voice and your appearance. No one's going to know who you are. And I, t I told this person, I said, listen, tell me now that you do not want to do the interview. I won't be mad. And I was being honest. Just tell me now so I could start leaving and going back to Oklahoma. And they were like, no, I still want to do the interview. I said, all right, cool. So I go further east. I get up to the border of West Virginia because I said, uh, screw it. I might as well go do a couple of videos. I turn around and I'm coming back to do the interview. And they're like, they, they don't want to do it now. So they wasted like, you know, I don't know, like maybe five days of me driving around the Midwest. I'm so fucking pissed off right now. Like, I, I just... So now, uh, I'm going to start driving towards uh, Arkansas. So I got a, I got a lovely little 650 fucking mile drive ahead of me uh, because uh, somebody wants to fuck me around and uh, bullshit me. So uh, if you're watching this video, uh, you get one of these for today, for sure. Yeah, that was fucked up. Yeah, this Christmas, not really a good time. Not really a good time. I'm fat out of shape, bored, it's raining, my feet are wet from looking for this grave. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, something good will come out of the trip because I, at least I, I did a, uh, I did a couple stories, so. All right, see you later, peace out.